Hey, it's Lauren. Today I am coming to you with this face. Specifically, this face of makeup. This has pretty much been my go-to slap-on face for, I don't know, two, three-ish weeks now. And it's with a bunch of newer products that I have gotten in over those last couple of weeks. I've fallen in love with most of them. Some are some old staples, but there's a lot of new stuff. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on sunscreen because I do hope to see the outside today. So I'm gonna start off with Pharmacy's new sunscreen. It's their green screen. I've been using this for the last couple of days and I've really been liking it. It's hydrating but not greasy and I haven't really felt that there's too much of a white cast. So just gonna put a general amount of this stuff on my face. So for my primer, I'm going to be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This was in my beauty review. Shaking it up, because I think it separates. At least it looks like it does. I really like this. It's really illuminating, luminosity building, really pretty. Um, and I have a lot of yellow in my skin. Might just look right now like I have a lot of red in my skin, which I have both. Um, especially, I get, but I get a lot of yellow around my eyes, so. This, I think, is helping with my general sallowness. Um, next up, I need some help with my redness. I'm actually gonna clip my hair back for this step because I, if I don't, I'm gonna end up with foundation in my hair. I don't want that. Hair, jewelry, pants, wherever i just end up with makeup in weird spots so i've been really into the cle cc c cream the radiant skin guy micro capsule technology broad spectrum at 45 in the color light i love this stuff i have not fallen for a base so hard since my lancome tenty dole but i love this stuff so it comes out and it's white but it's got like that micro capsule technology that as I like rub it into my skin, it creates the color. And it's a pretty damn good color match for me. It's like medium coverage. It's pretty hefty, like you don't need very much. And yeah, medium, light medium coverage, nice sort of satin finish, almost dewy, but like not like it cosmetics dewy. I'm gonna do another layer just cuz I my skin's been okay like there's a little bit of congestion I usually do but I've had a lot of redness lately and I blame wine I blame the wine that I've had the last couple of nights I woke up with a couple of new little zits right underneath my eyebrows and I always get those when I drink this is like an area that supposedly is really connected to alcohol so obviously had some wine the other night. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my concealer. I've finally, I think, finally gotten the hang of the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I pretty much hit pan on this side, trying to figure out how best to use this for myself. A lot of people talked about like warming it up on the back of their hand and then moving it on, and that's just like too complicated. So I just like go back and forth on my brush between the two colors and then I place it on my face uh, on, in all the, like, the spots that need it. And I just let it sit there and like warm up basically on my face. And then I go and blend it in. Because it's such a thick concealer that I think it, you know, it needs the warm temperature of your face in order to like, I don't know, emulsify, break down, whatever. I just dropped my brush, I'll be right back. So there we go. And because this is so thick, um, I don't really care for using it on my eyes. So while I let it sit on my face and, you know, break down or whatever, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind under my eyes. This is really brightening. I need that right now. Oh, I need all the brightening under my eyes. And I'm gonna, now let mix this stuff in with my fingers. Been really into doing my makeup with my fingers lately. 
So I'm gonna set my face with the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. This is actually my second one of these, which is a pretty big deal since I'm kind of addicted to beauty products, so I don't normally repurchase anything. So that's a sign that I really like it. And for setting my makeup, I'm not a huge fan of using loose powder. I think I get overly generous with the amount I grab when it's a loose powder and end up making myself look really cakey. So by using a press powder, I don't overdo it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows before anything else, just because looking at them, without my eyebrows done, I feel like I look exhausted and I'm relatively awake. So let's change this. I've been really into, where is it? Here it is. I've been really loving my NYX Micro Brow Wiz, but sad story, it ran out the other day. So went back to an old staple, the e.l.f. Studio Eyebrow Kit. This thing's getting pretty disgusting looking, um, but this is an old staple. I got a new Brow Wiz coming in the mail, so. I will be happy to be back to the pencil game, but for now, this pomade duo will work. Um, but I'm keeping this around for now because the spoolie is a necessity. So I'm actually just taking this ancient Sephora brush. It's like this dual-ended Sephora brush and using the slanted end to dip into the pomade's pot and just really lightly. Um, Fill these suckers in. This is the part where I really have nothing else to tell about the makeup. Just in the process of doing it. Um, yeah. Been really obsessed with this TV show on Amazon lately called Patriot. Uh, my husband and I, we just finished it last night. Two nights ago? A couple nights ago. We just finished it. We watched pretty much the entire show within the course of a week. And I'm surprised I haven't really heard much about it. I could see it not being a lot of people's cup of tea, but it was like perfect type of show for us. It's like such a super dark comedy, but it has like all these elements of like silliness and like farcicalness and... I don't know, it's just simultaneously really funny and really weird, but also like a really dark spy show that has really gruesome action moments. So it kind of combines a lot of my favorite things. I love spy action movies and I love weird Wes Anderson style comedies and it kind of marries the two together. So I'm really hoping it got a second season because uh, a lot of people seem to i don't know know about it or have watched it um but like i said i don't think it's everyone's cup of tea since it's so odd and offbeat but it kind of encapsulates a lot of my tastes into one and oh my gosh in the course of talking i really overdid it with the eyebrows all right time to blend uh, that out <laughs> whoops Okay, dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I've been really into a pony effect makeup. This is, uh, she's a YouTube creator. I don't really watch very many of her videos, but they're really awesome, whatever I do. And she has a really great makeup line. I just love this palette. It just kind of like screams pretty peachy, picky summer spring and then she also has these liquid eyeshadows which i feel like are being discontinued which would be a shame because they're really great i picked up like three colors when they went on super sale on mimi box so that makes me feel like they're out the door but i really like them especially this matte color i think it's called hashtag over you so i'm just gonna put all it on my eye and then blend it in and then i like to go in with the quad over top so i'm just gonna what sort of brush action should i use i'm just gonna use this old urban decay eyeshadow brush that comes with the palettes oh that was hoy groaning and just blend this in i really like this 
just blending it all over, kind of messy-like. I am taking this e.l.f. eye crease brush and dipping into this really pretty pinky peach color and just putting it straight into the crease. And then I am gonna dip into this, the same brush, this more uh, reddish rose color and then go right into the crease as well, but tighter and with less product. So I know this kind of looks like a giant mess right now, but don't worry, I'm blend it out to be a thing. And then take whatever's left on the brush and bring it down below. All right, now I'm taking this more fluffy base eyeshadow brush for Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna blend this shiz together. And then with, what are you called? The smudge brush that I just smacked myself in the face with. I'm gonna go in with this nice little shimmer shade and just put it on the lid. All right, so now I'm going to curl dim lashes. I really need a new lash curler. This is a Revlon lash killer killer, excuse me, lash curler that I have had since high school. So it is at the youngest, 12 years old, potentially older. I got a Tarte eyelash curler last year and that thing was terrible and really painful and broke really fast. So I just went back to this old guy who's still hanging around. So good job Revlon, you uh, made something that really lasted. So for my mascara, I am using the RMS Beauty Volumizing Mascara. This is pretty good. It smudges during application pretty easily just because the wand is really long. I really don't like my wands to be so long just because I have really shaky hands. So it's really easy for me to smudge. So this is a feat right now of the amount of talking I'm doing and smudging that's not happening. So, oh. There's a little bit. Alrighty, lashes done, hair down. Hopefully I don't look too uh, naked mole rat anymore. I'm gonna move on to bronzing up my ghostly face. I have been really loving my Lila B Duo Bronzer. Dirty, let me wipe it off a little bit before I show it to you. Um, this is just gorgeous. I love this. I'm really falling for this brand. They sent me this and their little lip and cheek duo and I'm really really intrigued by this brand. All of the packaging is like really sturdy metal which probably makes it really impractical to travel with but it's gorgeous, very luxurious. It's like inspired by pebbles. Love it. Um, they have like a foundation and some eye quads and um a concealer that i'm really interested in so i probably will pick those up um in a few paychecks from now since uh i've definitely overspent lately but enough jibber jab going to bronze up my face i just swirl um them together they have a really nice brush that is their bronzer brush that feels great, but it's in my bag, so I'm just gonna use this one. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. And just down the genique as well to make it all blend. I haven't been into contouring lately, so I've just been really into the bronzing, but I will put a little bit on here to help chisel out the features. There we go. And just make it all blended together. So for blush, like I said, I have the uh, lip to cheek guy from Lila B. This is in the color Be True. This is such a great cream blush. And let me get my apples and my cheeks going. It's like this really nice feminine pink, but it's like not too juvenile it's nice it's nice so just gonna rub this guy in if i'm not using this i've been really into using my ambient lighting blush in incandescent electra as well actually i might i think i'm just gonna layer the two of them together today um just because why not all right so i'm gonna take the real techniques contour brush which is actually like the perfect size for blush for me. 
and just put this over top. Now I'm gonna dip into an old favorite that is still very much a favorite, and it is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. I think I've come to the conclusion that like silver icy highlights are like my highlight. Also, I think I like like pinky lavender ones, but like gold highlights, um, I just don't know if they really agree with my skin tone. So this living illuminizer, living luminizer, living illuminizer, living luminizer is just my jam. Okay, so this is gonna seem a little over complicated, but it's how I've been really into doing my lips lately. So I'm gonna line them first with the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner. I love this liner. I got it in like an influencer box from influencer, whatever, uh, with the Marc Jacobs lip cream which I really love, and I'm thinking about getting in some new colors. This is just like the best lip liner ever. So I just did a really sloppily job. That's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with this Pixie by Petra Gloss in Sheer Rose and just do the tiniest bit and lurk it in the high fingers. I just live on a really noisy street sometimes. So this, could just leave it like this, uh, not bad, but I'm gonna take it beyond uh, and I'm gonna actually add a liquid lipstick on top of this. I have found that these Spella liquid lipsticks, they can be really tight and if my lips aren't like super hydrated beforehand, it can get a little too tight looking. So I've really been liking putting a gloss underneath and then this on top. So it still dries down. It will have a little bit more movement uh, than it normally would, but I really like the way it's been looking. So this is Spella Cosmetics Spa Day. I just love their liquid lipsticks. I have another one that I've been really into wearing lately right here. Um, it's called Tinder. This is like the best warm weather red. I, I've been wearing this a lot. So just gonna shut up now and put on my lipstick. All right, so I definitely got a little smudgy smudge as I always do. So I, luckily I still have some product left on this brush I was using earlier and I'm just gonna use it for fix up this area real quickly. Alrighty, this is the completed look. Got the necklace back on. Uh, hopefully the lighting situation wasn't complete shit. Um, and you could actually like tell the makeup that I was putting on and it, you know, I'm sure it went all over the place, but you know what? Sometimes that happens. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this really uh, chatty random video of this look that I've been really into. Uh, if you liked it, I hope you like it and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.